Uh, so weather wise, yeah, inner tubes in a pool. We knew the heat and humidity would be back and sure enough, we surged into the 90s today. Only the second time this year we've had a 90 degree day. We expect to do that when we turn the calendar towards June 91. So far the top temperature for today. We've dipped down to 89 here in Nashville, but noticeably warmer outside still. And it's the humidity, right? It's the moisture that you start to notice. Everything's still tranquil across Tennessee and Kentucky. Not impossible. We would see a little bit more cloud cover slide in overnight tonight, but we are certainly not expecting anything as far as rainfall, at least not yet. By tomorrow afternoon, we'll have a low chance for rain, mainly for folks south of I-40. This will ramp up just a little bit as we head towards Thursday and will stay somewhat unsettled as we head towards Friday and Saturday. But all in all, this are fairly low rain chances for this time of year. This tends to be that time where heat and humidity work together to kick up at least a few afternoon showers and storms, which of course begs the question any severe weather. Overall, our severe threat very, very low. If we were to see any severe weather, Thursday is the day to watch. Opportunities will be there in the morning and afternoon, mainly for folks north of I-40. The main threat here would be gusty wind with some of the storms that come through. So here's a quick peek at some computer modeling. Southerly flow remains in place that reinforces the warmth that reinforces the moisture. Not impossible. We would see a stray shower for areas south tomorrow. Uh, keeping our eyes to the west, closer to the Mississippi River for more widespread activity, not here in Middle Tennessee, at least not yet. The other thing we are keeping an eye on is the tropics. Yesterday I was talking to you about Tropical Depression 3. Well, it intensified today and it is now our third named storm of the year. This is Tropical Storm Cristobal. So Cristobal has a uh, 40 mile per hour sustained winds. Its track over the next few days unfortunately is going to keep it fairly stationary in southern parts of the Bay of Campeche. This is going to increase significant flooding threats for parts of the Yucatan. Our eyes are on it as we head towards the weekend because the energy from this is expected to move into the central Gulf as we head towards Friday, Saturday till, till it's still too soon to tell that was hard to get out still too soon to tell where it would have significant impacts on the Gulf and here in Tennessee, but I will keep an eagle eye on it for you as well as the storm five weather team. 69 tonight, warm, muggy, starting to notice that summertime sizzle settling in. 90 tomorrow, that would be another 90 degree day. We'll tack a few on as we head into the next seven days. Of course, as we head towards these summer months, they'll just get more and more numerous. Your best chance for rain is going to be Thursday. And as I mentioned, the key thing to know about that is we'll have opportunities around both in the morning and the afternoon. A weak cold front actually slides through Friday night into Saturday morning. That's part of what keeps us unsettled to end the week. All in all, conditions look to dry off as we head towards the weekend, though, Carrie, and remain quite hot with highs in the low 90s both days.